Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial on the Dangle Beaker channel and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to record your screen in full HD 1080p 60fps. So this recording software is named Action. So let's get right into the tutorial. I'm high as I've ever been, higher than heaven sits. Roll up my weed and think about my exes and jealousness. How to stay current and relevant. This be my story. Okay, so this software does have a trial. I am pretty sure it is a 30 day trial. And here's the software itself. So I personally purchased the software because, you know, I don't want to, I didn't want to have to go through the crack all that stuff you can get that stuff illegally but i mean you can do it illegal no one's really gonna get in trouble but i don't recommend you do it i recommend you buy it it's just much safer better and quicker but um this is really up to you but for me i prefer to actually buy the software itself and it, it was pretty well worth it so i'm gonna be running you through the steps so first of all i'm gonna drag this off the monitor right now it does cost, I am positive, it costs $30, yeah, twenty nine ninety five for home use, just select home use, um, and that's how much it costs, and you do get the 30 day trial, like I said, you can try that out and see if you like it, I personally love it, it's crisp, it's clear, it, it's the file format, it just fits with about, just about any editing software, After Effects, Premiere Pro, Sony Vegas, Camtasia, even Movie Maker, and it's just wonderful. And so I, it, it can do screenshots, it can do face cam with it. it, you can do everything. So let's get straight into this. So I am currently recording my screen. You can actually set it to pick up games. It'll pick up games like Minecraft and all that stuff, and it'll record your screen that way, or you can set it to do a monitor capture, which is what I'm doing. So this software is smart. So... I set it so it records my first monitor. I actually didn't have to set it. I just dragged it off and it just automatically detected I wanted to record my first monitor. And so I'm recording at a full 1080 60 FPS is and this video will be rendered at a full 1080 60 FPS. So if you're going to record at the resolution, I recommend you actually, you know, render it in that because it's just super helpful and it'll look a lot better just in general so yeah and another part you can actually do like you can crop um parts out and stuff so that's cool you can also set a specific duration you can record your system sounds your mic obviously i actually have it disabled because i record it with audacity with another software that's a whole different tutorial and if you want to see that tutorial make sure to click that like button and the nice part about this software is you can actually live stream you can actually connect um connected to twitch or youtube i believe i've never actually used the live streaming feature i typically always used obs but i just typically i've actually have live stream I, that was a lie i have live streamed to youtube before and i've live streamed at full 1080 60 if your computer can handle it and you have sufficient speeds then go ahead and do it but if you don't then i recommend you go lower but that's really just up to you um, but yeah, that's the live feature. You can also remotely control your recording software with your phone with the app. You know how there's an app for everything? Well, yeah, there's an app for this. <laughs> and for your audio recording, you can record specific um, audio tracks separately, which is kind of handy. You can also do um, benchmarking for times, you know. And so that's pretty dang cool. You can also do... Um, screenshots while you're recording at the same time i'm pretty sure other softwares could do that but that's just really cool right there and this is where all the stuff gets technical and so i have it to check for updates i'm pretty sure if you were to crack this i recommend you disable that because it'll kind of ruin the crack i'm pretty sure that's how it works but yeah this is not cracked and um i have it so my video recording is set to high bit rate it's maximum input range I don't even know what that means, but I have it set to that. It's the highest, so why the frick not? And I have it to use multi-core recording because it's just better. I have it to record my mouse cursor, which is basically what it's doing right now. If I were to disable it, my mouse cursor would just dis disappear. And to visualize mouse clicks is basically when, if you were to click, a little like um, a ripple would come out of the mouse. Just kind of visualize that. And you can actually do face cam overlays. So when you actually do your face cam, because you can record face cam with this, we'll get onto that in a second. Um, you can just overlay, so you won't have to do any of the tedious 
video editing if you're not sure. And um, this is how you record your face cam. So I have it to obviously do not record right now. I have it set to the system resolution. You can set it to whatever the freak you want it to be. But I have it set to its native resolution 1920 by 1080. And obviously the Logitech C920, which is a beautiful webcam. I recommend it. And yeah. And so this is where you actually see um what your face cam looks like, how big it is. And hello, you see me right now. So this is how it looks. It's pretty, pretty cool. You can make the size bigger right here. You can make it as big as you desire. But um, I just recommend you keep it at a smaller size. It's really just up to you. You can also remove it to see like where it's going to be horizontally or your vertical position. It's it's pretty dang cool. It has everything you need to um, just get the right angles and everything. And I can also teach you guys how to make uh, overlay specifically just for that. So you don't have to do any of the tedious moving or editing. So if you also want to see that, click like down below and leave it down in the comments. And this is how I record my audio. Um which is voice meter. I'll also have a separate tutorial on that. And you can actually record it into a separate audio line if you do any specific um, audio editing with Adobe Audition or anything, any processing. If you want to enhance some um, bass, in, like bass and depth or treble and um, maybe audacity, that's also another thing. And so that's really nice right there. And I have it set to 50 because my mic levels are different, but it all will just depend how you have it and how you like it so yeah and I have the bit I don't use the bit right down here but this is my audio so this is some sounds is set to 14 the microphone on them is set to um higher so that's pretty cool and yeah micro that's the microphone settings this is a pretty straightforward software which is what I like about it and you can actually hide the um this little part up here the little um HUD or yeah I don't remember what's the abbreviation. Um, I don't remember what the abbreviation is, but um, you can hide that and everything. And this part is where you use your um, whatever graphics card you have. But keep in mind, guys, this can this does not use um, CPU. It actually uses your GPU to record. So if you don't have a good GPU, then this will lag, mess up your audio. So I do not recommend it if you do not have a good GPU. GPU stands for your graphics card power. So if you don't have, not, it doesn't stand for that, but um, it's it depends on your graphics card power. But if you do, if you can handle it, it's beautiful software. I truly do recommend it. It's one of the best I've ever used. It's just wonderful, very good quality. And so, yeah, that will wrap up this tutorial. And I do hope you all enjoy. Make sure to like, hit that like button if you want to see some more tutorials. You can tell my commentary is not so good. I'm trying to get back into the little, um, my commentary. I haven't done it in a while, so just have some patience with me. And, yeah, I will catch you all later. Peace out. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.